Over the years of helping entrepreneurs grow and scale, I've come to realize that there are some key areas that each of them really needed to have discovered and eventually mastered in order to access more flow in their business, meaning that they have more impact and definitely a lot more money flow unlocking and happening so much easier and so much faster. My name is Ruby, I'm a flow activator, and today I wanna to talk to you about what goes on inside of my business and why so many entrepreneurs coach with me. I teach them three main areas, learning how to be unapologetically them, energetic agility, and structure within the flow. From my experience, these are the three pillars that are really the heartbeat of your business and the key to unlocking more flow than ever. So whether you are an aspiring entrepreneur or someone who is more seasoned in business, stay tuned because these pillars, which I'm gonna go through, are about to transform the way you approach, the way you think, the way that you perceive your life and business. Let's talk about being unapologetically you. And this is the first pillar that I help my clients really address. We have been told that we can't say so much and there's so many things that you know have perhaps been censored over our lifetime. And the reason why I say unapologetically you is because you no longer have to apologize for being you. There is so much noise and expectations out there in the world, but maybe even within your close family circle, the way that you show up is affected, right? So I wanna show you how you can move through that and be the most authentic version of you. And it truly becomes the secret source to attracting soul aligned, i.e. the very best clients for you in the world. People are so drawn to the real, the genuine, the unfiltered and you know, even for me, when I started, I used to think that I needed all the bells and whistles, makeup, hair, all the beautiful lighting, etc., to be respected on socials. But in the end, all they wanted was me to be on a live stream with them, drinking a glass of red wine, hair up in a bun, talking about the ups and downs of my week. I want to teach you how to let go of those masks and embrace your uniqueness and love as you watch how connection through that helps your business flourish with clients who really resonate with the real you. Now, this isn't always easy, which takes us to the second pillar where we talk about energetic agility. So let's talk about what exactly this means, energetic agility. It's also our second pillar. And this is the idea that your energy is everything, right? We are energy, we are frequency out there in the world. Your energy is the driving force behind everything that you do. How you generate that and how you express that into the world is going to crucially be the aspect that helps you grow a thriving business. So picture your energy as a currency and spend that wisely. I want you to ask yourself, where are you giving it out without realizing it? Where are the energetic leaks, so to speak? Is it comparison? Is it fear? And you know what? A lot of this comes down to building grit, training your brain to love the element of fear and the unknown and becoming resilient through reprogramming your neural pathways, which is what I teach my clients. We're going to explore other areas, techniques to recharge yourself, to realign, to maintain that vibrancy of your energy that propels you forward. And I will help my clients really get ready to transform their business, not just in terms of their business growth, but their entire life. It's the mastering of an art of using your energy to get you further along rather than succumbing to it and not really knowing quite how to harness the power that you have from within. Once you establish that grit and that energetic agility, we need to now look at the structures that support this new found level of flow and frequency in your business. Some might think that having a really strict plan or structure stifles creativity, but I believe the opposite. Having a very well thought out business strategy is the backbone of flow. That is what allows you to stay, be, connect to your optimal state. You know what works for you. I used to think that, you know what, I'll just go with the flow, which was a really old school way of thinking for me now that I've learned more about it. I used to believe that, you know, it'll all work out. And yes, this is a very big part of being in your true element, but every great leader and teacher, guide and mentor has structures to help their message amplify out there in the world. Without structure, you stay small. 
So it's about finding the balance between what structure means to you and the flexibility and the freedom to speak your truth. So we're going to delve into the importance of strategic planning, setting very clear goals, adapting to changes while staying true to your vision. I love helping my clients get ready to witness what happens when you have structure and that solid foundation which helps your flow really thrive. Now that you've had a mini introduction to the three pillars that form the foundations of your thriving, optimal state, flowy business, which is as a reminder, being unapologetically you, having energetic agility, and also having that structure within the flow, I wanna go a little bit deeper with some examples, some unique scenarios that a lot of entrepreneurs that I coach face and they notice exactly why they're feeling stuck and plateaued. So each of these scenarios I want you to lean into, you will identify with one of them, maybe more than one, and it's gonna highlight a piece of the puzzle from what's missing from the three foundational pillars in your business, okay? So let's explore this and be open to it and see how this really resonates with you as well. Okay, so picture this. In our first scenario, you are already unfiltered and unapologetically you and you've mastered the grit and resilience. You've been through a lot of stuff in your life and it's like, it's fine, but you don't have the structure. You've really struggled with it in the past perhaps. So you're kind of like this big ship and you're out there on the seas, but you don't really have a navigation map and you don't really know where you're going. You have the authenticity, you're charismatic, you have the energy, you've got lots of fuel in the tank, but without a strategic plan, that fuel runs down and runs down and you have no destination and you're starting to feel like you're in trouble because you don't know which direction you're moving in. And when challenges arise, the adapting of that becomes more difficult. You've, you're running out of energy, right? And also with the authenticity that you have in your business, with the absence of structure, it still hinders that level of growth, that desire to step into this next level and you're not quite sure what's missing missing because you know you're amazing you have a big message to share out in the world but you're literally wondering why no one is listening no one's hearing well the only reason for that is probably because you don't have the structure to have your message be amplified out there not enough people are seeing what you do not enough people actually really understand what it is that you teach on your programs and your services are not relevant because you have no structure to actually help your audience understand what you're about. And also you have no real structure to help your audience tell you what they need and want from you. Okay, let's switch to a second scenario. And this one here is really for those of you who know who you are, right? Like you have done your job, you have spoken your truth and you know what you stand for in this world and you do have structure. You're actually really great with it. But you do know that when things get difficult or you feel stuck and plateaued, your ability to take on risks and try something new is held back. Mm. That's energetic agility because you don't really want to mess things up. You're scared because what if you do and things don't work out? And this really stops you from propelling forward. There is a dynamic relationship that is speaking through you and to you in your business, but you're not seizing those opportunities. And you're seeing everybody else do different things, but you're so scared of tackling something different, or you're afraid that it's gonna lead you to more failure. And without that, without the fuel of vibrancy and creativity and taking risks and putting yourself out there, it's probably why you're not feeling into your next level. I used to always think to myself, you know what, once I get my perfect business set up, I'm gonna stay here and it's gonna scale and it's gonna be great, but it doesn't work that way. Social media changes, the algorithm is changing, I don't know, every other month. The way in which you're reaching clients is changing, the market, the industry, the economy is changing all the time. So without building up that energetic agility and that grit going into remapping those neural pathways of yours to take on more risks is gonna take you so much further than you can ever imagine. Stepping out of the comfort zone has a whole new meaning. Okay, so for our last example, you have the structure. You are structured out of your head, right? Like so many funnels and so many ads and so many processes, and you've taken some risks. You're happy to do that, but there's this void. You're feeling this void between you and your brand and your business and connection with your audience. You know what? You might have such a well-orchestrated business 
and your energy is driving your determination, but you can sense there is a lack of connection. Do you know, if you've ever watched Dragon's Den or Shark Tank, what are the investors asking? They're not necessarily starting with results. They want to know about why the founder started their business. And your brand, if you're feeling like it's struggling right now to stand out in a very crowded market, it's because they don't know you. You're not letting them in. You're not letting them buy into the story. And this is especially going to be so true for businesses into 2024 and beyond. This is such an amazing reminder that true success requires not just strategy and energy, but also the genuine and unapologetic expression of who you are. These scenarios, they highlight the delicate balance needed to create a thriving business. And whether it's integrating structure within the flow or fostering energetic agility or being unapologetically you, cracking wide open and sharing your story, the key is to recognize the missing pieces that strive for a beautiful blend of optimal state. The reason why I started my business flow state business is because I want to help you unlock this full potential through the power of flow science and the freedom that you get through harnessing energetics in your business. I want to help you focus on finding your authenticity, your message, energizing your pursuit for greatness and structuring your path to however it is that you will call in your impossible success. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope that it has been resonating with you. And if it has, I'd love for you to go ahead and take the entrepreneurial flow quiz. This quiz will give you a real insight and a guide as to where you stand with each of the three pillars that I've just discussed. It's absolutely free to do. It should take you about five minutes or so, and you will also get a fully personalized report. Just click on the link in the description. And overall, I hope this has given you so much more clarity and focus and direction. In the meantime, I'm sending you all the flow-based vibes for the day and I'll catch you in the next one.